If your solution requires robust network support, you've come to the right place. Today, we'll show you a quick and easy method for consolidating wireless connectivity into a single, powerful, and resilient source that's tailored to your solution. For that, we'll establish failover using Starlink and our new 5G beast, the RUTC50. Whether for emergency services, streaming media, or any other industry that handles mission-critical data, network dropouts can be daunt. So having reliable connectivity is key. Starlink is known for its global coverage, even reaching remote areas where traditional broadband fails. However, in regions like Australia, extreme weather conditions such as cyclones or hailstorms can disrupt that service, making it not so reliable after all. Therefore, to ensure connectivity doesn't get disrupted, establishing failover can be a real game changer. You can use our RUTC50 5G router to obtain primary connectivity from Starlink, but if its connectivity goes down, the RUTC50 would automatically switch to its mobile connection as a backup source. Do you want to know how you can do this, dear viewer? I'll show you anyway. First, connect the Ethernet cable from the Starlink router to the WAN port of the RUTC50, and ensure that you have at least one mobile card inserted into it. Then, log in to the RUTC50 and turn on the Advanced mode. Navigate to the Network section, select the Failover tab, and choose Multi-WAN. If you prefer an easy-peasy and very straightforward approach to failover, simply enable WAN and one of the mobile connections from the Failover and Load Balancing Interfaces section. Make sure their sequence in the Mode section lists WAN first and Mobile second. Click Save and Apply, and that's it. The failover is configured and ready to function. However, if you wish to customize your failover to meet specific requirements, we're here to guide you through that as well. Start by clicking the Edit button next to a connectivity source. Here you can configure the failover settings in greater detail. This includes determining the frequency of connection checks, specifying sites used to verify internet connectivity via the router, and detailing other ping-related specifications. You can set things like the number of pings sent to these sites, and the required number of successful or unsuccessful ping attempts needed to switch from one connection source to another. Also, you can select whether all connections handled by the router should be terminated once the failover occurs. There's also a rule section which can be used to establish a specific failover routing logic. You can insert a new instance in the rules section by naming it and clicking on Add. In this section, you can create rules that dictate how connected end devices select their internet connectivity source, either adhering to or defying these rules. Failover rules work in a very similar manner to those of firewall, as they are set in a list form. The router checks if the outgoing packet follows any of the rules set in order, starting from the top. If it finds a matching rule, the router stops looking at the other rules and applies that specific one to the packet. If no rules match, the device just follows the main routing plan. After setting up the failover, let's do a quick test to see how it works. So right beside me I have a Starlink router and a Starlink antenna right over there. Let's simulate a connection drop by unplugging the Starlink antenna. And now let's see how the RUTC50 switched from its main connection to its mobile connection. Let's go to the system section. Select the Maintenance tab, choose Events Log, and click on Network Events, and there you have it. You can see that the RUTC50 has switched from the main connection to the mobile connection. Let's head back. One important thing to note, if you want to set up the cellular connection as your primary connection on a Teltonica router and Starlink as the backup, you can follow the same instructions and just switch the order of the connections by dragging and dropping them in the failover list. Also, after that little failover showcase, we couldn't help it and came back to do a few speed tests as well. We did it with both a 5G connection and a Starlink connection. And that's all for now. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this, and contact us if you want to learn about ways to enhance the connectivity of your solutions. Until next time.